Hello and welcome to another video here with me Mioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This time I want to take a look at the patch 4.5 additions to the Adventurer Squadrons, in the form of two new command mission dungeons that you can do with your merry band of AI. Essentially today I started out as a level 64 summoner, it's what I had available, basically anything with an experience bar to track the experience I gain, and we'll also look at the ease of the dungeon and the time of course it took to run. The two dungeons added in 4.5 then are the Fractal Continuum Normal and Pharos Sirius Hard Mode. Both are level sync to level 60, which is immediately going to put a bit of a red flag next to the possibilities of being superior to other experience gains, however let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Fractal Ven is synced to item level 210 at level 60, and Pharos Hard is 240 item level synced at 60. Let's smash through both of these then, Fractal first. I started Fractal Continuum Normal with 5,494,766 experience points at level 64 at 1.35pm my local time. The trash monsters were nothing too special, and up to the first boss was an absolute breeze. Low pack density however is making the experience gained from monster killing fairly low thus far. I do not run these with experience buffs from the FC today out of choice. The first boss is not surprisingly very simple with very little mechanics to deal with. Unlike some of the other dungeons in the command list, this one suits a mindless AI system perfectly. On to the second boss then, this Minotaur. This guy only really seems to cause potential issues when he charges you, but as long as you move away in time he can't finish you off and Cecily does an amazing job here of healing you sometimes. Don't give her too much credit though. Not anything too problematic. And the last boss then, after dealing with a fairly unremarkable trash pack that you melt through with your squadron AI, is the Curator. Curator relies usually on you defeating Az to remove the threat of glowing squares in the room that do damage to you. However, after the first wave of Az, I simply decided to ignore the subsequent waves, and I was able to nuke Curator down with the team way before the Az posed any threat whatsoever with their AoE plan platform shenanigans. So we started with 5,494,766 experience points and now we have 5,978,456 experience points and it's now 1.50pm my local time, meaning we gained 483,690 experience points in around 15 minutes. The second dungeon then, Pharos Sirius Hard Mode. Starting the run at 1.53pm my local time, the trash in here feels a lot more tanky, so this could be a slightly slower run in general, but there's a lot of it. The first boss then, Gra Luminary. We can simply place these tethers onto unattackable monsters around the room and avoid AoEs to do the majority of any mechanic this boss has. Nothing is especially required by your AI, so this is generally a piece of cake. The second boss, the 8th Order Patriarch Bigu, is fairly tank and spank. There's a few ants to take care of throughout, with the corrupted gel and of course his transition where you have to defeat two enemies and their two alchemy engines, but those burn down very quickly with the squadron AI attacks if you press engage. It's just a bit of ad management which you can easily handle, and then the run up to the last boss is filled with bomb ads and the like that take a little bit of extra time to deal with, but eventually you get to progenitrix, avoiding the sap AoE, killing the bomb ads as quick as possible in the transition phase, and doing essentially the same as before, and burning the last and blue phase of this boss, ignoring much of the recovery bombs that spawn to try and heal the boss as you can actually out damage the healing at this point and get a nice quick kill on the boss. So we did indeed level up to 65 here, so that's from 5,978,456 experience points to finish the 6,364,000 needed for level 64 to 65 and then another 100,413 into the new level at a completion at 2.08 p.m. local time, giving a total of 485,957 experience points in 15 minutes 40 seconds or so. 
So both of these dungeons are roughly the same sort of duration, with Pharos taking slightly longer and giving slightly more experience due to its extra adds, but how does this rack up with other levelling methods? Well, on average, Som Al takes about 17 minutes for me and nets me about 574,000 experience points on average, and the Vault is about 20 minutes and gives me 564,000 XP. So they are both better choices for experience gain, even though technically they're lower level. You will of course be better off interacting with the duty finder and queuing for dungeons relative to your level to get the most experience possible per hour, but when it comes to DPS players playing alone and perhaps off peak times if you work strange hours and you resort to methods like the Squadron AI, then this confirms that the two new dungeons added with Squadron Command in 4.5 are less efficient than the others you can already do with the AI. Squadron missions offer 24-7 AI alternatives alternatives to running with groups with no queue times and that's going to be very appealing to a lot of people. Combine Somal and Vault runs with roulettes if you can each day, your daily beast tribes in Stormblood and your path to level 70 is going to take no time at all. And if you feel like it, dip your toe into heaven on high and see if you enjoy that because the experience gain is pretty good in there as well. In general, I'd summarize that the dungeons added were straightforward, less glitchy than some of the previous ones they've added before, which is a welcome thing indeed, yet still hold less efficiency than they perhaps should. Let me know what you think below, and I'll see you all next time.